YouTube is Brian Proctor back again with another video and this video is dedicated to or aimed at you can dedicate it but want to aim it at those people that say they can't draw but really want to learn how to draw so this one is for you guys so when we're young they teach you how to do the alphabet a b c d and the whole 26 letters is it 26 so anyway what these are basically these are shapes they teach you how to do these shapes over and over and over until you get it down so much in your head you can do it in your sleep well drawing to draw a picture is just basically a shape as well it's just taking these shapes and being able to turn them around to make the shape of what it is that you need to do. But a lot of people try, a lot of people, oh, those, how can I say this? People have tried to draw and fail because nobody was there to teach them exactly what they needed to do or how to do it. So my goal is to teach people to draw because once you learn how to draw, there's just so much that you can do. Your imagination just takes over and then you can just create so many different things. A lot of beautiful stuff you can create. Once you start learning how to draw, you start learning how to ink. Once you start learning how to ink, you start learning how to paint. Some people go from there and start sculpting. So I'm trying to open up that artistic well inside you guys so that you can go out and do some of this incredible stuff. So for those of you that said you can't draw, let me show you how you really can draw. Now, I always say if you can do letters, then you can do shapes, like the A. That A is just a triangle, okay? If it's not, do that, erase that. You have a triangle. Hey, guess what? I can draw a triangle, okay? Uh, draw a square. So let's just say the C, the C. What letter would be a square? D. Okay, D. Here you go. D. You round that off. So instead of that, you just do that. Anybody can do a square. Okay. So, um, and uh, what is it? Triangle, square, circle. If you can't draw a circle, you need to just go, go, just go in the woods, live in the woods or something. Everybody can do a circle. Now, an A would be more like, uh, um, what is that? The... Um, like the pyramid, it would be, yeah, like the pyramid. The shape of the A would be just draw up and then draw down. You have the shape of your pyramid. Let's forget this. Let's take this out because this doesn't belong like that. So basically what you're doing is making a three-dimensional shape. And what I did here by mistake was just to show you how you can take a square and turn that square, and I'm doing it again, turn that square into a box. You have your regular square. And then somewhere down the line, just put another line straight down like that. So now you have two sides of the box. This would be the other side of your box right here. And if people say, I, I can't see that, I can't see that, let's do this. And that again, and then you cut it down here. So if you had a, pack, uh, a ribbon around it, the ribbon would go like that around it. Still can't see it. What's wrong with you? Anyway, if you did a box like, let's say this, in the same way you did the triangle, from this point up to that point up to this point up, and then put a line here and a line there, and you have a box. Now let's remove this and this. So you have this, this, and this. Moving that, let me let me ink this so that you can not see that other lines. So you have this, 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 this. Up, up, and up. Now if you turn that up like that, you could have a table. It would be a table, and you can do chairs. I can't do chairs. Yeah, I know you can't do chairs yet, but I'm just showing you it's a table. There you go dinner plate, your little glass, so fork, knife, knife, fork, whatever. So just showing you by little shapes, by manipulating certain shapes, you can do, create all kinds of things because 
basically life is just a square anyway. You look in your room as a square. Your door frame is square, rectangle. Your TV is rectangle, square. Uh, your dresser, your bed. So that's the most used shape is that. And then you have the circle, which would be just a cylinder. And your legs on your bed, cylinders. Your legs on your table, cylinders. Your, your legs itself, cylinders. So that's just something we use. Your antenna on your car, your... What else? What else? I don't know. What else is I'm looking around my room? Your 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 light. Your light. Okay, so if I did a light, that's this triangle. Chop this part off. This part right here. Cylinder. A lamp. Thank you. This part down here, either it could be a rectangle or it could be half of a triangle. If I kept continue to have a triangle like that. There you go. So <clears throat> just by using these basic shapes, you can draw. But this one, we're talking about the anatomy. So I want you to understand, you can do these three shapes, triangle, square, circle. Start turning them into different shapes or, or three-dimensional shapes, put it that way. All right, now, knowing these shapes, Let's do this. We're going to do a man. And this is like basic, basic, basic drawing. So you want to do a triangle, upside down triangle. And I just did show people how to do this in my last video, which was character development. This is for comic books. You want to do a triangle. It's not so much in the center of your paper. You want to give room, leave room down here. So you want to do that. And if you have trouble drawing an upside down triangle, the same way you did the table, turn your paper, turn your paper upside down, draw your triangle, then flip it back. Okay, so the next step, and we're drawing a man. The next step is you want to draw a line across here, almost like you're doing a letter A. You know, I could have said draw the letter A, draw a bottom, flip it upside down. That would have been a little easier, but I'm hardcore. Okay, now draw straight down like this. Now you could always um, lengthen it or shorten it later, but you want to do that. You want to draw a center line straight down here. Now, if you have been with me for a while, if you've been you know viewing my channel, you already know what I'm doing. So let's just continue that center line straight up like that and then draw an oval here. Not too big, not too small. You're starting to, you should be starting to see a man develop. A superhero man, not just a regular man. And then you have your oval, let's think of an egg, and then two lines here. So you don't want that with his head way up here. And yes, that's his head. These are the legs, this is the, 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 the chest, the torso. And then we can play with this. This is going to be like his, his, his waist, his crotch. So from here, you can, if this is too wide, this little triangle is too wide, you can just chop it off like that. Okay, now when you chopped it off at, at that angle, just draw a rectangle. Like that. Same thing here, a rectangle like that. We're not going for perfection yet. We're just getting the basic shapes so that you can do that. And once you learn how to do this over and over and over again, then it becomes a lot easier. So let's do this. Let's let's drop this down, this down a little bit more. That's kind of that's kind of right, but let's just let's just drop it down a little bit more. Instead of this V here, we're gonna bring it out. Just come down just a little bit, and then instead of a hardcore V, you wanna do it like that, almost like you're making the letter Y, because you got this and the letter Y. Then erase this part. So those are his his little shorts. So let's take this line off and bring this down like that so you have this coming out and then down 
out and down just like that now from here this is crooked but that's all right I draw crooked lines and I'm sure a lot of people draw crooked lines as well it's my angle that I'm sitting at so from this corner let's go up like that and that's drawing like half a triangle same thing here I'm like that those are shoulders now you can start to see it's starting to form a person now let's take this arm here this little thin arm you can leave it thin or you can make it thicker let's go like that let's make it a little thicker by coming down past this line here to about right there and going straight to this point make it a little thicker all right so feet you want to come down just a little bit on both sides and then you want to go out like a little triangle now if I did a triangle it would be like that so basically you're doing a triangle and you're splitting it like that now for hands let's just go straight down and then out like that so there's another triangle basically and then we're gonna go down and curve so we're going down and curve like that then just put just a little little piece like that almost like a pickle and then we want to come a little piece here off of that just a little over there a little one here and another one there so you have this and then that just three we've got four fingers but just that's just three because the other one is back there you can't really see it so at this point we have our guy that it developed so like I said, I would say about halfway, just draw a line here, and that's the guy's chest, and up, and then it comes out into that arm, like that. Now, that's a quick and easy way to draw a man. Now, somewhere in the middle here, he's going to have knees, so let's just say an oval, another oval. Now... Before we even get into that, if this character you had was wearing clothes, this is how his pants would look like this. Now, if you're drawing like the superhero type, you would bring it close to his knee like this. And then the side of the knee and then like that again. Almost like you curved it like that. And same with this, bring it close to the knee and curve it close to the knee and curve it like that so now you've seen how defined his legs would be so where that is you want to come straight down again and that separates the legs more and now you're having now you're having now you have your man now at this point you could draw uh, dress this guy he could be like a superhero or you could just have the guy um, in regular clothes, which you just do the pants back over again, straight up and down. All right, so now each step we take, we are shaping this guy. So it's basically like you're stacking up rocks and then you're chipping away little pieces to make it look more realistic. Now you could have stopped at any point uh, up to here and then just use that character or use that drawing as your character or as a character reference to, to draw your, your hero or your, your person. And I'm just straightening this foot up. But if you follow along, I'm going to start chopping up some more and just adding on little things to make it look better. So first of all, let's get rid of this line in his arm. Because that's like throwing me off. And... Okay, so we have the arm that's going straight down like this. This one up, and we want to bring the chest around where that arm meets. You want to bring that chest 
up like that. Okay, so I want to try to get rid of this as best as possible because I keep seeing this like that. So, well, this comes out here and here where this was going. Let's bring this in a little bit. Let's bring it down and in. So down and in like that. So you want to leave a little space under his arm, kind of like this. Okay, so you have this line. That line could um, represent the stomach. That line does represent the stomach. And from the bottom of the um, chest, you want to do a curve. Well, you can do a diamond first or triangle first, like, like that, but then round it off. And that represents where his stomach is. Now I'm looking at it, see what else we need to do. The, at this point here, at the chest, you want to draw from to the point here and this point there. You want to draw another triangle. That's not a triangle, that's a V there. And that's going to represent where his neck goes. The head is going to stay the same a little bit, but let's flatten the chin out here. Go up like this and then around. So that shape would be almost be like to do the head. Okay, you have your head here. So you basically you're going to do like a Y like that, except you're going to uh, put a flat line. So what I do is a flat line for the chin, then that Y, and then you just go follow that line all the way around and then you have your shape of your face. You have your neck. Now. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. I'm sorry, that was Alexa sounding off again. I don't know why she thought I said something. But there you have your man, quick and easy. And you can start dressing him. And then later on, you can do things like add like muscles to the arm, just round stuff off. Like that, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. We just if you got to this point, then you're you're a thousand percent better than you were before you looked at this video. You don't worry too much about rounding stuff off. If you practice those steps that I just showed you over and over and over again, then you'll be on your way to doing some good looking Batman, Superman, four Captain America figures. So let's do this. Now, just for not leaving a blank face, where this, you have this bottom line, you have this that comes up, and you have that that comes up. Where those lines go across, where they touch right here and here, this is where your mouth would be. So your mouth would be, because that's your jawbone that opens up and closes. So your mouth in the face is going to be right here. This is your, your lip, and then just a little piece for your bottom lip. You can do a nose. So it's supposed to be three. You have this, this, and this. But just put your nose just a little bit above that by doing a triangle like that. A triangle. What's with you in the triangle? Your V like that. And then just a little above that, maybe halfway from here to here, which would be about right there. Draw a line across that and then do some eyes on the line. To start out with, if it's hard, just do square like that. And they might not be even across, but that's okay. So it's easy to do this for I, and then you chop it like this, and chop it like that. And you can round it off like this. And then you have an I, because your I is shaped like what is the shape like that? So I mean, this is the closest you want to you can get to when you're when you're a beginner, and you can just round it off, put your little eye in there, piece in there. You're good to go. Your light source, your that's not your cornea, that's your pupil, I guess. I don't know what that what, what that is. 
when it comes to like eyes and I can do the body, but the eyes, yeah. And then if you have color in your eye, it's like that. Whole different video, whole new video. So now your ear from your nose to the eye, that's where your ear goes. And the ear is just an oval, basically. It's just really narrow oval and you just chop it off the side of your face like that. So if you did this oval, you draw it in the face like this. And then just chop that part off right there. So, I mean, if you're good enough to do it, just here's your face, side of your face. Just do this like that. Doing more detail in the ear like this that lump and then a the line that comes down like that this was not supposed to be a face tutorial or anything like that this was just doing the body so now that we've got that let's do the female body all right a little bit different but it's almost the same thing so you want to do a rectangle let's say about like that not too wide not too long because this is the body itself. This is the length of the um, shoulders and the length of the, the, the hips, the, the hips, yeah. So you want to leave room for the legs. So you don't want a wide box like that because you got a big old wide woman. So and I'm going to even narrow this a little bit more. Now you want to draw you want the center line. The way you find the center of a, a box or a square is to do an X from corner to corner. Do this lightly because you can do a lot of erasing. It's not it's not mandatory that you find the center, but I want you to find the center. And then you just do that center line because you're gonna do a couple triangles. So erase that, these this X. Now you're gonna do a triangle from this point to here. And then you're going to do the same thing at the, at the bottom from this point to here. And if you have a hard time doing that, turn your paper over and do this triangle. Like that. You don't want it too skinny now because I think that guy made mine a little too skinny. Too skinny and too long. You'd have to work with it. You'd have to work with it. But these are the steps. Too skinny and too long. Yes, yes, yes. So what I want to do, because this is, is this is way too skinny and way too long, is I want to I want to bring it out a little bit more. Like that. Yeah, just a little bit more. You see, once you start doing this over and over, and you you'll you'll be able to understand what I'm doing. So we have that. Okay, so this is, this is gonna be the body right here. Now, to we're drawing the feet, you wanna do another triangle all the way down. You're still using that center line, like that, come to a point, like that. And this is another reason why you don't want um, this to be too big because you don't want your legs too big either. You can, you can always narrow the legs down because once you round this off, you're taking some of the leg off. But for the time being, you're doing the same thing, straight down to a point, depending on how long you want the legs. And then again, with your, your um, uh, me and shapes, I don't know, my brain just stops. Your triangle, and it basically they're all triangles for women. Majority of my triangles. So you have that. Now from here, you can, you can do that again. You can chop that off to that point. If it's too far out, just bring it down and then bring it down here. And you want it to come narrow. Well, not so narrow, but you don't want it to be wide, wide here and, and thin there. Same thing here. And you want to bring it just above this line here. So coming up again, same way we did the neck. For a woman, I'll do that. I'll do a Y without drawing the flattening, flattening off the bottom. And then I will do the head. And you want to make the head a little bigger for the woman. 
because you don't want her to have a small head and a huge body. But I always do that Y and then that and then the neck. And you don't want the woman's neck as wide as the man's. Where did he go? You don't want his neck, her neck as wide as his. So like that. And then the same way I did his shoulders. You want to do hers as well, but you don't want to do like huge big shoulders up here. You want to do like small shoulders that kind of swoop down or taper down like that. Because a woman, you don't want to draw a woman with big, big, huge shoulders. Now to do the chest at this right up, up, up right up under the chin, there's a point here. You want to draw a heart upside down. You don't want the heart to come off of this line. Depends on how big the chest is. And you have the center line, so it's going to come up in that center line. And then you have your second, second lump from that heart like that. And that's the quickest way to do breasts, easiest way to do breasts. And of course, it's going to curve up like that. And it goes into the arm, into the delt. But that's just a quick way to do it. So I'm gonna ink this and you're gonna see what lines we're gonna keep and what lines we're not gonna keep. And the same thing with the hand. I'm just gonna do like a triangle like this. Chop it up, straight down, out, and then more down like that. Draw this piece for the thumb. And you can bring one finger, two fingers, three fingers. So one finger straight, well, it don't have to be straight, but it can be one two, three. It just looks better with three because if you put the fourth finger there, you can, you don't have to, but it just, it throws it off because that fourth, that baby finger wouldn't really be seen if you held your hand in that position. So just do three fingers and it just curves around like that. And then you have that. So now instead of a triangle woman, just round it off like that. And of course, it can be as long or as short as you want, depending on if you're drawing a woman, if you're drawing a girl, if you're drawing like an Amazon, Amazonian. So with the knee, the same thing here, find that the center, draw two ovals, and then you want to bring that into that oval, and then out and in, into that oval, out and in. And then I'll give her a little more leg. And then you can, you can either keep the straight line, her legs are together, or you can just separate that line just a little bit. Because they actually separate here, it separates here at the crotch, it touches at the knee, and it separates here in the um, ink, um, calves. So at this point, you can let it go, you can Right, at this point, you're pretty much done. You can round it off a little bit, round the shoulders off. Come in and out, like that. Those arms, eh, those arms are a little long, but we'll go with that. Let's say round the parts off. And that's the, that's the big thing when doing um, a person, knowing where the muscles like round off and get bigger and then smaller. And once you do that, then it becomes a, little, a lot easier for you. So from here where I have this, right up under her chest, I put a line like right down, this chest is crooked, but that's okay. Straight down and then curve it in. So you like straight down and curve it in. So it's like this. So let's just say this is the heart. This is the shoulders. This is the arms. And this is my V. What I do is I come straight down, just straight like that and then curve in just a little bit. And then her hips like that. So I have no idea what shape that is, but straight, curve in, straight, curve in. And the more you practice it, the, the better you get at doing it. And then make this one whole piece, instead of two separate pieces, just make it one whole piece. And that just, it saves a lot of people stress and worry about are you drawing new females So let's just say we're going to come out and one whole piece 
like that. Like, she has a shirt or something on. So at this point, instead of this V, just widen it out like she has a bathing suit or something on. At this point, if you're doing comic books, you can dress this character as your character. Now, with this here, same thing where this line and this, this line meet, that's where your mouth is. A little above that is just your nose. And then like from the nose to here, like this, about halfway, are those eyes again. Just do those squares, as I showed you. And then once you get them in the right place, then you can turn them into those little triangles. A lot of people won't even close the bottom of the eye like this. It's like you have this, they'll do just this part and leave the, the top of the eye, leave the bottom of the eye open just kind of like this. And then you put your eye in there and you don't have to draw the bottom of your eye. So if I did that with this, let me get a smaller pen. Smaller pen. I could do this. Like you're doing the eyebrows. And then just put her eyes in there. And then you go and you do your eyebrows. So there's like many ways to do women, especially if it's a small face. If you were drawing the face this big, then you would want to put details. But if you're doing a small face like this, then you won't have to really do much work to it. And then again, as I say, your mouth like this. And with the woman, I will, unlike the man's mouth like that, leave it open. With the woman's mouth, there's two things you can do. You can either do the straight line and then you could do this, almost like a smiling face, and that could represent the bottom of the lip. You can leave it like that, or you can just do like a little V here, and then straight down to the other ends. But for that one, I'll just leave it as is. And then again, with the ear, at the eye, and the um, nose, and the ear. And then you have your female. So if I ink this with a bigger inking utensil, it would be like this. I'm going to have her neck not too big. The shoulders that slope around, the arms that curve in and then stay in and they curve out again. The chest that comes like this, one piece. The straight down, like that, curving in, and then the hips, straight down, the hips, and she is long, she's like a long anime character, as I say, you can shorten it, you can shorten it, there's no big thing to shorten it. Then you have the crotch that goes up, and then you can split the legs if you choose. Or you can keep the legs together. That's your, your choice. Goes in at the knee, comes back out, and then down. In, back out, and comes back down. Remember, you want to give her some ankle. She has to have some ankle here. So these two split, and then you have your foot. Like that. Same thing here. Swoop that shoulder. Bulge it out there. Comes in. Bulge it out there. Like that. That thumb. That hand, those two fingers, thumb, that hand, that finger, and those two extra fingers. And that just takes practice to do that. And then her neck, a little point in her neck. And this line straight across here that represents the collarbone, which you just do that and that. That's all you need for that. And then you do your face. And then she got crooked, that got crooked because I'm leaning. Yeah, so there you go. There, that's, that's the part that you need. So then you would end up dressing her however you want to dress her. If she is a comic book character or if she's just a fashion model or however you decide to do your female character. And then the belly button is down here somewhere. So she's more 
She's long. She's more <laughs> realistic than this guy. And the only thing we could have done with this guy is when we brought the triangle in. Let's do this. We have the triangle. And then we have this coming down. We could have brought this down a little bit more to give him some, some waist. But by bringing it down, you end up making his legs more narrower, shall we say. So you'd have to, to bring his legs out more if you brought it down. But the more you practice it, the better you become. Or either that, or just bring this in and then down, in more and then down more. So if I kept anything, it'd be like this, round. I'm just gonna do one arm round, leave one arm, arm straight. Like that comes down and around, down and around. Like that leg in, out, in, in, out, in. Same thing. And then straight down here in the foot. Straight down. And you notice I didn't take the foot all the way out. I brought it like halfway out and then brought it down like that. And then this arm, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm just going to keep this arm straight. I'm going to curve that, but I'm going to keep that arm straight. And then the hand. The neck. The little V in your neck, which is just a muscle. And then your collarbone. And then I'll separate his chest. Like so. And then give his stomach. And then put his little shorts on. Give him a little belt. Now he's got the tidy whities on. How about that? A little room here. Like that. Do the other hand. That, that. And then, of course, the head. Like I said, flat chin. Your Y almost. And then your head. And there you have the man. So the only thing is you can actually drop, give him a little more waist to make him a little taller if you chose. But these are just easy steps to drawing your figures. And yes, as I say, she got a little long because that triangle was long and he's a little short, but Practice these steps over and over again, and then you'll get it, and you'll be on your way to drawing some incredibly lifelike characters. So with that said, I'm going to let this go and let you guys go start practicing. So I will see you guys in the next video.